Welcome to Let's Talk Ghana here on Series 2 Television. Sincerest of apologies that we have not been able to bring you the Friday edition of the show as we have been on the ground. If you look at here, what it looks like from contention in one way or form between these young protesters and the police. It's been three days of occupied Julobi protest by Democracy Hub. They've been unsuccessful and we're going to be bringing you the package one after the other from the first day, the second day, and then today as well, which is the last day for you as we continue to put Ghana first in all of our conversations. Because the 
and the Ghana police have been told that any time anyone resists peaceful change, violent change will occasion. We don't want to engage in violence, but if they push us to the wall, we have no other option. I thank you. Any fair idea of the total number of people arrested? Well, so far as I'm, I counted, we have about 32 that have been distributed to the various places. Only Bomawa is currently at the railway police station. There are about seven of them that are at the cantonment police station. Seven of them are here. Some are distributed to Sukura. And we are going to ensure that we monitor to see the people. Some of them are actually even passers by who were just arrested. Journalists, their phones were seized for simply wanting to cover the atrocities that the Ghana Police Service were meeting out on innocent citizens. And I think that it is unfair.
organizations into buses and sent them to the police headquarters. We have had unconfirmed reports of torture and inhuman treatment of some of those arrested and have also been made aware that those arrested have been strategically dispersed to different police stations.
for your country, the nation demands your devotion. Let us all unite to uphold and in the king of motherland. Hey! 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 here today to show up as you are here engage with each other find out about each other learn from each other build solidarity because we have no one but ourselves we have no one but ourselves and today we have done we have, we have show, we are we are showing history and we are making history together we have shown that even when the voices of violence are loud we will still show up because this is our democracy it is our democracy for over 100 years they were demonstrating in front of the White House. Why would you have phone? They are Google. Demonstrations in front of the White House. Who be who pictures and the back? Over 100 years. Over 100 years. Over 100 years. People have been demonstrating in front of the White House. The only time it changes just January 6th. I think we in Macau, Washington. Edmundy, Echo, who demonstrations at our White House. It's the end of the year. Oh, 
by example so that the young people would come in their hundreds if not thousands to participate on, in this thing on a daily basis our country is being raped dry it's being raped dry right and being raped blind yes so, and and where where did you come from to be here i come from domi domi yes. you came from domi to be yes. a part of the project. i left my car and walked you left I, your car and walked yes i walked what, I'm, what, I'm a lawyer. What, you are a lawyer? Yes. What are you seeking to achieve? Um, and are you hopeful that you can be allowed to go close to the Jubilee House? Today? Oh, yes. Yes. The, the, the law allows us to do what we are doing. You know. And uh, it is to show the dissatisfaction huh, among the populace of what is going on. We are being, we are being governed by thieves. In fine suits and expensive suits. Thieves, common thieves, criminal thieves. If I should, I may use that word. Grass and grass, grass incompetence. Grass incompetence. And this should be pointed out to them directly. Yes. And I warn, if the next government comes, which happens to be the NDC, they don't do anything about this thing. The cataclysm that will happen in this country, nobody has thought of it. Nobody has seen it yet. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Can I get your name, please? My name is Pasichu. Thank you.
For many of these vehicles, they've resorted to climbing onto the pavements, like we're seeing there, to try and make a U-turn, possibly find an alternative route that can take them out of the jam. And that's been characteristic of day three of the protest these fuel tankers possibly expecting to deliver fuel are all stuck as more and more vehicles try to maneuver it's been unsuccessful in the first attempt and they're gonna try and do it from another turn second time of asking he manages to be able to do it. And that's what's been happening all across, even for these huge tankers. For some of the individuals, they've been forced to pack their cars. And you can see the attendant trying to help put stones to make it easier for the tankers to get access to being able to climb onto the pavements. That's been the situation all throughout. For five hours, the roads have been blocked. So currently everybody is trying to just navigate their way onto the pavement and then be gone because the traffic has been as intense as it can get. It's clear from everything that's been seen that the demonstrators are not going to allow for the roads to be used, forcing persons to having to climb onto the pavement and then do a U-turn. He struggled but finally has been able to make it through and he probably might have run out of fuel and so he's having to top up to be able to proceed with his journey. Openy, Bosman, how long were you in it? Like you I spent two hours. I, I was looking for a filling station to buy. I spent two good hours. Two good hours. So what? I so had to take a motorbike to buy for it. And you, so you got off yeah. and went. What did you? What did you get? I'm turning back. I'm turning back. His vehicle is not starting. As he's run out of fuel, literally had to go and buy a gallon filler, and it's not and it's not helping.
that's the that's the current state. Yeah, a common idea, Dada. This is my block of fine. Yeah, it's a very nearco. Yeah, yes, I want a lady. It's a weird musician. My funny uncle. It's a one you want, my rock. Tell the kid, you know, as I'm getting to one. If I'm going to talk to him, some more, my funny uncle. What do you want me to do? You must one hour. So he has turned So he has turned this into an avenue to be able to make a bit more money uh, helps you be able to climb onto the pavement and then you get something for him and so yeah that's pretty much it as well and so he helps you get onto the pavement and then you have to find a way to get him something as well the great luck Studios 2 TV. The truth is here in your eyes.